uh, indecisiveness or decision making. Also, for me, just I used to spend so much time trying to make decisions, you know, important decisions. We may all make a million decisions every day, but there are a few key ones that tend to take a lot of our attention, usually involving money, career, relationship. <laughs> so if you have to make a decision where you realize, oh, I could either lose a lot of money or I could make a lot of money or potentially I could be with this person or maybe not or, you know, it just creates a lot of data. So personally, I've just found it much, my decision making becomes very spontaneous. I don't know what's happened, but just over the six years of being involved in all four mainstays, I don't spend a lot of time brooding on decision making. You know, the, the fear of running out of money for me is not an issue anymore, or the fear of having money is not an issue. I've just really taken that all the way and let all the data about money be as it is, rely on the four mainstays lifestyle to, to see there is complete support and experience available. And um, I know I have a community of friends who will just be there to support me, a trainer to help me if there is a difficult decision. But usually it's just a very short list of what is most beneficial about this decision and what would not be beneficial. So, you know, I, I could probably talk 15 minutes on this, but just to say, I would say, test it out. And the next time a big choice comes up for you, rely on the Four Mainstays. Rely on short moments of open intelligence. Let all that data around that decision be as it is. It self-releases like a line drawn in midair. Rely on a trainer for their experience. Pick up one of the texts or the book and read it, and you'll probably just have all kinds of insights into your choice you want to make. And talk to the community. 